know it. Former Detroit Lions wide receiver Ryan Broyles. Now, Ryan made a little bit of publicity here when it was discovered that despite all that money, he was making multi-million dollar contracts, the last one paying, I think, in the vicinity of 600 grand or so. He was living like he was making 60 grand. Do I have that right, Ryan? I think it's about that, right? Yeah, that's correct. Why so tight to the vest? Said it again? Why were you so tight with the money? Oh, Oh, well, I think I had a game plan coming out of college. You know, when, you, when you're blessed with a lump sum of money, I, I try to figure out how to make this thing last um, as much as possible. So I had a great team around me, financial advisors, great mentors that allowed me to, to be educated and to realize that I need to cherish this opportunity. And I feel like I've done a good job of that, me and my wife alike. All right, right out of school. I mean, you were looking at, a, you know, you know multi-million dollar contracts. Uh, you're a free agent right now, but you've had some injuries, and, and maybe you saw that as a possibility that all these winnings could, could evaporate. Was that behind your thinking? Oh, that definitely was. So I tore my ACL, my left ACL in 2011, right before I got drafted. Um, and from that point on, I really started thinking about the future, didn't know if I was going to make it back. Um, obviously, I did. I got drafted in the second round of the Detroit Lions, and I really wanted to make sure that whatever I was blessed with, that, with that opportunity, whatever lump sum of money that I had, I was going to make that, that money last. Um, so it's been an awesome experience. It's been, it's been tough at times to really just sit back when your teammates and um, friends are driving nicer cars, bigger <laughs> houses, and things like that. But at the end of the day, I know my end goal. Um, I'm not just looking at this year or next year. I'm looking at 20 years down the line, and um, I pretty much set my wife up and my, myself and my child up um, to have a fruitful uh, future ahead of us. All right, so uh, we, we should talk, you're living on 60,000, that's the net, you're living on that net, so it really would probably translate into maybe 80,000. But, but the fact of the matter is you have a $5,000 monthly budget, right? I was hearing it includes $500 for groceries, $300 for gas. Gas keeps going lower, you're gonna make some money on that. Your it's phone nice, bill about yeah. 190 bucks <laughs> each for your cell phone and your wife. Total, yep. And the biggest part is, I guess, your expenses, your car payments, you got $800 for two cars, a Mazda 3 for you, and a Cadillac SRX for your wife. So she even gets the Correct. better car. Um, oh, but yeah, does she, she ever it. say, hey, she come on, it. you're a big star, splurge, you've got some moolah there, spend it? No, believe it or not, you know, um, I was kind of the guy that would want to spur splurge, and she's the one that's more financially smart than I am. <laughs> um, so I've taken a lot from her, to be honest, you know, so we make a good team. Do you, are you putting this money away, socking it away? Are you planning on kids down the road, any of that? Oh, yeah, I do have a three-month-year-old, um, so we're excited that he's just growing like a, like a tree stump right now. Um, but he's definitely uh, the, our pride and joy right now up to this point, you know. But, um, yeah, we sucked away a lot of money. We invest a lot of money. Um, returns are making life that much easier, living off our cash flow and passive income up to this point. So me not having a job right now, um, I, I would love to be back there on the field. Hopefully that day comes here soon, but if not financially, um, we're pretty much secure and excited about the future. You know, it's a remarkable story, Brian, and you're ahead of so many uh, young, young people in, in, so many, uh, in so many areas, not just sports. But do you look at these markets and are you tempted to invest in them or think, hey, this is a buying opportunity, anything like that? Oh, well, I've definitely been in the market. So I rode the wave since 2012 up until now. Um, I'm recalculating my, uh, the way I'm looking at things right now, you know, and so people said there's buying opportunities um, here and there, you know, I'm not certified as an analyst or whatnot, but I do have a great team <laughs> around me that's going to lead me in the right direction. Um, but there's, there's even uh, possibilities to uh, invest your money outside of the markets, and I think there's reasons why people are pulling their money at this point. But at the end of the day, everyone has their own game plan, and uh, the risk-reward tolerance is a little bit different. You're, you're a remarkably wise man for such a young man, but Ryan Broyles, uh, word to the wise. Be wise when it comes to money. You don't have to spend all of it. Uh, Ryan, thank you very much. Very good seeing you. Best of luck in your career. All right. Thank you.